945 dynamic microphone. My German friend tells me it's simply Sennheiser, and he should know. How I came by it? Well, a friend of mine, been watching some of the microphone reviews, he said, why don't you uh, do something a bit more mid-range? Um, good idea. So I uh, looked and saw this. It's about £170. I think it's actually uh, near the top of the uh, Sen Sennheiser dynamic microphone range anyway. Now I uh, seem to have misplaced the box for the 945, but I'm pretty sure it's identical, apart from being specific, to the uh, box for the 965, which I do have. So I'm going to use the 965 box, but I'm pretty sure, if memory serves, that it was pretty much the same for the 945. So the box is like this. Nice enough. Very good, actually. Opens up, and inside there's a bag. Documentation, as you'd expect. And then uh, a microphone and a clip. Here's the mic, which we'll look at closer in just a, a moment. The clip feels nice. Uh, one of the kind of more elastic type. Quite firm, and there's a... You can feel there's some sort of very fine ribbing. Can be uh, adjusted. And also, yeah, can pop out as well. Quite firm. Nice. The bag is the, uh, I think, the standard Sennheiser Fair. Fairly thin. Not much padding. And as for the fit with the 945, fine. What the manufacturer says, you can download this. Metal construction, rugged, reliable, shock mounted, low sensitivity to impact, super cardioid, isolation, hum comp compensating coil, neodymium magnets, a falcon ring, consistent sound over time. I don't know what that is. And then extremely vivid, crisp sound with drums and percussion. 40 hertz to 18,000, 18 kilohertz, usual stuff. Got another document here, says a bit more. Powerful and rich in detail, ideal choice when vocals have to cut through, low handling noise, presence all the way to the peaks. Uh, renders the natural voice in particularly forceful colors. It's extraordinary presence and full body effortlessly position the vocals in front of loud instruments. It goes on about richness and being lively again. Key features, dynamic supercardioid, enormous emphasis even on extremely loud stages warm and lively again high feedback rejection shock mounted hum compensating extremely rugged housing but we're not going to drop it anyway are we 179 pounds i've got down here interesting when i was looking around i saw one in searching i typed it in i saw one that looked pretty much identical and i'll show you when we get to the picture stages of it called a morza and it's 19 pounds. Don't know what that's about. Well, it's a Morza, but they seem to have, uh, well, we'll see, seem to have copied it pretty closely, so uh, I wonder what it's like. Anyway, I think it's uh, time to have a look at the charts and stuff. On the screen, then, you should see the frequency response chart. And, uh, Fairly flat across the middle, quite a rise up around two, three thousand, then flat, little dip, and then up at around just past ten thousand. Says it goes to eighteen, but it's dropping off. Um, flat through the middle and then dropping off, starting just about two hundred hertz. I'm interested because that's not what I hear. So I don't think we're seeing the full story from this. I hear some of it, hear the top end, but the low end I hear rather more. But I'll leave that to, till later. Fit, finish, feel, and then business.
Very good. Feels nice and seems to warms up quite quickly. Compared to an SM58. So a bit larger. Difficult to say. Hmm. Perhaps a little lighter, not sure. And uh, just to, for a comparison, the 965 condenser, which is a larger mic. Finish on the condenser mic is somehow slightly nicer. I'm not sure. I've done this before, actually. Something about the sheen there. Don't know. Anyway, it's about this one. Capsule unscrews the grill. There's a rubber um, sealer round there. I can't think of the word. Gasket. And uh, that's what made that noise. Quite short threads, but firm enough. Foam. Much the same all the way around. Thickness, as far as I can tell. And looking through it, I'm not going to be able to show you, I don't think, no. Looking through it, I can see a finer mesh underneath this as well. So I'm thinking there's the outer, it's a finer metal mesh or something. And then the foam. And that's enough. And as you can see, there is some uh, suspension there. All in all, very nice. I balance them up as best I may, and I always tweak them later, it seems. The Sennheiser, the Sennheiser, 945. What do I notice immediately? What do I notice immediately? Well, what do I notice immediately? Immediately I notice s and well, 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 which I describe as a firmness, but the ah parts of well are accentuated as well. That's what I notice immediately. Back on the uh, SV33. More just seems to be even to me. Back on the Sennheiser, and I'm going to tweak it as always, yes, even though I've spent a lot of time, but anyway. So uh, back on the set could be to do with frequencies and stuff. Back on the Sennheiser, that's what I notice immediately. Moving to the SM58. What do I notice on the SM58? The uh, extremes aren't as um, exaggerated. Uh, maybe up there though, a little bit. Yeah, back on, let's go between the two of them. Back on the Sennheiser, back on the Sennheiser, I can see that back on the Sennheiser, back on the Sennheiser, on the SM58, on the SM58, on the SV33. So that immediate thing for me is that uh, the Sennheiser kind of maybe in the same uh, ballpark, to use an American term, but uh, a bit like that. Can't remember what they said, but they said. Something like that. Um, okay. Pops, S's, breath, proximity, and all that stuff. 
here I am on the, the Sennheiser. So maybe it sounds, mm, now when I come back on it, it's a little upper mid down, it seems to me. And uh, I'm thinking with that graph, that's because we didn't see the proximity, which would have increased the bass. So if you've got an increased bass, other way around, sorry, increased bass and increased treble, you have a little bit of that smile thing going on, which I think is what I hear. A little bit rock immediately springs to mind. Pops. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. 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 Not bad to me. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. I would say probably a little bit better than the SM58. But also, I think that frequency that causes the upper upper part of the pop frequency is is a little bit recessed. So maybe it's that. S's, well, it's S's. Susie, Susie, shoeshine girl. Susie, Susie, shoeshine. Sh there's a definite. Susie, Susie, to my ears. Susie, Susie, shoeshine girl. Sitting in a shoeshine shop. But there's a, it is supported underneath. So again, a bit of a smile, I feel. Susie, Susie, SM58, which is a little bit known for out there anyway. Susie, Susie, Shushan. That's higher, isn't it? Immediately. S -s 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 -s. A bit higher up, seems to be. Susie, Susie, Shushine girl. Susie, Susie, Shushine. Sh -sh 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 -sh. Grainy there. Sennheiser. Susie, Susie, Shushine girl. Shushine. Sh -sh 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 -sh. That's smoother than the 58. Susie, Susie, Shushine. Don't know, maybe the top's similar. Breath. Who do you think you're fooling? 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 Who, 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 who? If you're going to be like that, you're going to get something. SM58. Who do you think you're fooling? Who do you think you're fooling? Who do you think, who do you... SM58 is a bit susceptible to that, but... Who do you think you're fooling? Who, who do you think you're fooling? Who do you think you're fooling? It's okay. Who do you think you're fooling? 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 Proximity eye. There we are, speaking a bit louder, further away. Speaking a bit louder, further away. Still got some firmness. I feel the, ooh, ooh. let me do that with the 58. Speaking a bit louder, further away. Speaking a bit, yeah. It's, yeah, you know, interesting what they say. <laughs> that kind of, uh, who? Uh, speaking louder, further away. Speaking louder, further away. Speaking louder, further away. Speaking louder, further away. Speaking uh, there, I can really hear right at the top. There, it's coming through. Speaking louder, further away. You can hear that, yes. Speaking louder, but and it's got some woof underneath. But again, a bit of that smile thing. Uh, SB thirty, SB thirty three. Speaking louder, further away. Speaking louder, further away. S -s -s hear the room, of course. Speaking louder, further away. Speaking louder, further away. Coming closer. Coming closer. Very, very well managed. That. And it keeps the bass further away. But, you know, it's a completely different mic. Back on this one then. Prox oh, proximity, sorry. The other bit. Getting closer. Getting closer and going down. 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 Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Very, very firm. The uh, absolute low end isn't there. Down. But, um, hmm. Down. Ooh, sorry. Going down, going down, going down. No, going up, but never mind. SM58. Going down. Well, it quits itself quite well. I've, I've got a, a royal knot going on here. Don't know how that happens. It's got to be me, isn't it, really? Going down there, going down, going down. Proximity, proximity, proximity. Bit boomy. Going down, going down. Proximity, proximity, proximity. But I think they're a little bit similar come the end of it. Going down, going down. Proximity, proximity. Very nicely done. I think that might have clipped. No, it didn't. Uh, very nicely done there. But a lot of weight, but... No uh, flab. Can I say that? Hmm. 
Here we are then. I seem to have got another knot. I don't know how that could have happened in just five seconds, but there we go. What have we got next? Polar response. Not polarity. Polar response. This one we know is a... Uh, yeah. Something about this later. That's a bit too too much for me, maybe. Um, yeah, so on, on axis, we know it's supercardioid. On axis, on axis, coming around to the side. It's changed already. Coming round to the side, coming round to the side, coming round, change there. Coming round to the side, more. Coming round to the side, coming round to the side, coming round to the side. Very good rejection. And you can actually hear it's almost its core underlying quality. No, you can hear the woo, and you can hear the tss, which sort of um, stays with it there. But the balance changes. Coming round to the side, side, coming round to the back, coming round to the back. And there's the lobe, which we would expect of a bit of leakage. And you can hear the room, of course, because it's pointing off the ceiling now. Coming back round to the side, coming back round to the side, coming back round to the side, full rejection. Coming back round to the front, coming back round to the front, coming back round to the front, and now uh, fully on axis. So pretty much uh, sounds like a, ch 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 mm, a, a classic um, hypercardioid pattern. Handling. I'd say it's good. If you've got headphones, you'll hear a lot of that low-end rumble, but probably on a, the average PA compared to the SM58. I'll put them both on. The SM58 does well. Different, different color, slightly higher up. Frequency, colour, uh, slightly higher up, and uh, this one again has that slightly, s s slightly smile thing going on where you can hear the real low. But you know, it's good, really good. How am I invited to sing? Am I invited to sing at all? Um, um, um. Um, uh, uh, sort of wants to make me, uh, make me want to make, I'm going to put a little bit of reverb on this so I can give myself a bit of vibe because I'm a bit vibeless today. I don't know if it's the wine or what. Have I got a bit? Yeah. Uh, 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 seems to want to, what I'm, what I'm immediately aware, aware of is kind of what they say. Maybe I shouldn't have read what they said before I've done it, but I hear a kind of, ooh, 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 ooh. there's its low end strength to me. Ooh, ooh. Then that starts to overpower the the low end. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Definitely on the thirty stroke, I can feel the hear the. Brrr. So kind of wants to make me be there. Uh, kind of wants to make me be, and then I find myself adding a little bit of that nasal resonance because it sort of soaks that up very nicely. I'd have to be careful with the s's. Did I do s's? Well, for what it seems to be um, aimed at, what can I say, really? I'd like a, like a more substantial bag. A bit more generous with that, perhaps. Other than that, t -t -t. horses for courses, isn't it? I, I, as I speak now, I just find that a bit too much for my ears. Maybe you're poor, maybe you have wealth Maybe in demand or maybe on the shelf uh, Whatever your situation, ooh, there's something you should do Reject on automation and let me work on you I'm Mr. Manual, automatic's not my style uh, I like to manually manipulate you Guaranteed to make you smile, yes it is, yeah uh, Automatic's not my style. Hey, 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 hey. Call me Mr. Man. Oh, automatic's not my style. I like to manually manipulate your guarantee to make you smile. I like to manually manipulate your guarantee to make you. I like to manually manipulate your guarantee to make you smile. Mm -hmm. I guarantee to make you smile. Oh. 
el bullicioso adolescente.